Hearts Hair Studio, Precision Hair Transplant Results Simulation Tool. Precisely calculates the number of grafts required for any grade of baldness, simulates post-procedure results for different number of grafts, and different treatment plans, and creates multiple treatment options customized for your patient needs. Let's see how to use the Hearts Hair Studio Hair Transplant Results Simulation Tool. Enter the patient's name and grade of baldness as shown here. These are the slide bars for topographical areas of the scalp, 1 till 7. You can pull all these individual slide bars separately to varying lengths, to grow hair at varying densities on the scalp, based on the position of the slide bar. This slide bar at the bottom controls all individual slide bars together, so that, you can simulate hair growth on all these selected individual topographical areas of the scalp, together. You can select and unselect the checkboxes for the slide bars of these individual topographical areas of the scalp, to simulate hair growth selectively only on these areas of the scalp as shown here. Using these plus and minus buttons, you can alter the size of the photos both horizontally as well as vertically, so as to perfectly suit the hair growth simulation. You can move and change the position of the photos, also to perfectly suit the hair growth simulation. Now for demonstration purposes, let's select the lower slide bar to control all the individual slide bars, so that we can simulate hair growth on all the 1 till 7 topographical areas together, and then later edit it for optimized result simulation. Here, we are now resizing and repositioning the images discussed earlier, so that the simulated hair growth, lie on the correct topographical areas of the scalp. At this stage, you can see that the total number of grafts required to achieve this result, is 7300. Now you will see, that as we change the selected areas, or, change the density of each topographical area through the individual slide bars, the result simulated, as well as the total number of grafts, and the number of grafts for each area, will change. The number of grafts for each individual area, for the selected density, as decided by the position of the individual slide bars, can also be seen in the scalp topographical map, as seen here. You can also change the curvature, or waviness of the simulated hair, by this tool here. Select this tool, move it to the desired position, zoom it to a desired size, and lock its position. Now, you are all set to change the waviness of the simulated hair. Select the view, area, and the contours, to change the curvature of the hair, in this selected area and view. Now, use this curvature tool and stretch it in a specific direction, to change the curvature of the hair, as seen here. You can also reset the curvature back to as it was, by clicking the reset button. In the same way, by selecting the view, area, and the contour, you can change the length of the hair in that area, by clicking on the length plus button. The change takes about 10 seconds to take effect. Also, when this change is taking place, this button will be highlighted in blue. Do not click this button repeatedly. You should only click this button when it is not highlighted in blue. Clicking it when it is highlighted, will not change the length of the hair. In the same way, you can change the thickness of the hair in that area, by clicking on the thickness plus button. The change takes about 10 seconds to take effect. Do not click this button repeatedly. Also note that when this change is taking place, you cannot click on the length plus button, and the thickness plus button will be highlighted in blue. You can also change the color of the simulated hair by color palette tool. Simply open the color palette, select a color, and the simulated hairs will now be colored in the selected color. It takes about 10 seconds for color change to take effect. You can also match the color of the simulated hair to the actual hair color, by using the color picker tool. Simply select the color picker, take the picker to the actual hair, and left click. This color will now appear in the color box. Simply click this new color in the color box, and the simulated hairs will now be colored in the selected color. It takes about 10 seconds for color change to take effect. You can now generate the PDF report of this simulation. The report will show the number of grafts required in each topographical area, in the grafts map section of the report. The report will also show the total number of grafts required to achieve this simulated result, and also shows the number of grafts required in each topographical area of the scalp for the simulated graft densities. You can also generate such multiple reports for different simulations on the same patient. 
Hearts Hair Studio, Precision Hair Transplant Results Simulation Tool.